In this one, we're gonna go ahead and break down Metro Boomin's umbrella. The tempo for this one is 111 beats per minute and it's produced by Metro Boomin, Peter Lee Johnson, David and Ellie and Oracles. We're gonna kick things off from the top and show you how the intro was sampled. So that intro sample came from a track called Azoto or Azoto Rainfall. And I'm gonna show you how it was sampled. But before we do that, I just wanna show you how to set up your session for sampling in Logic. So the first thing you wanna do before you drag in your sample is go ahead and change it over to automatic mode. And what that does is any audio you bring in, Logic will adapt to the tempo of that audio file and you don't have to find any downbeats, nothing like that. It just lines it up for you and then you can quickly find what spot you wanna sample, chop it up and go from there. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring in Azoto's rainfall right over here. I'm gonna drag it in onto the one. Logic is gonna analyze it and do its thing. So now we got our sample ready to go and ready to chop up. So the sample here, I'm just gonna take you right to where the section is. It's on bar 43 here. Let's go, so we're on 42 and now we're on 43. So the sample starts right here. All right, and that goes on for four bars. Now the intro in Umbrella is 10 bars. Metro duplicated this twice and then added in this second section right over here. All right, so let's go ahead and take this piece first. We're gonna go ahead and chop that up. And because Logic already analyzed everything, everything is tempo synced and we don't have to worry about lining anything up. Just chop it up where you need it. So I'm gonna go ahead and balance this in place and this is the intro A part. And then we're gonna go ahead and bounce down this section over here, chop it up. That's sort of the part that leads in to the actual track. So we're gonna go ahead and bounce this in place and go intro B part. So now that we got our samples chopped up, all we gotta do is select both of these samples go to file, export, two regions as audio file. We'll bounce that out and then bring it into our actual Umbrella Remake session. All right, so here we are in the Umbrella Remake session. Let's go ahead and drag in both those samples that we just exported. So I'm gonna bring in the intro A part right over here and drag it in just like that. Now you gotta remember from the other session, that section that we chopped up was four bars long. So we gotta take this section over here and make it four bars. So you're gonna to go to the end of the region, hold down your option key until you get these like squiggly audio lines and then click and drag until you get four bars. And now you've converted it to a four bar loop at 111 beats per minute. So here's our intro part. But before we do anything else, we have to make sure our flex mode is enabled on this. And we're gonna go ahead and change this over to, it's off my screen here, flex time speed effects. So now what we gotta do is just duplicate this over and then go ahead and drag in the B part. Once again, that section from the original track is two bars long, so let's go ahead and make that two bars long. And we've just set that up and this is what it sounds like now. and then it goes into the track. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete that here for now because I already have that done up top here. Just want to show you how to do that. That was the intro except one piece of the intro. Metro or one of the producers added in this one piano note here. So this right here, just an E note. All right, and that's pretty much it for the intro. All right, so let's break down the main sort of chords and melody. This is what it sounds like here. So first off, we have this piano over here. And that piano is using a piano preset from my Sounds of Metro Boom and Kit. It sounded very close to the original one. The keys, small piano. 
Next up, layered with that, we have this sort of pad sound. And that's gonna give you that counter melody for these two notes here. So for that sound, I'm using Logic's Alchemy. I'm using the Clockwork Ballerina preset on the nice performance. Layered with that, we have this sound. Just playing those same chords and sort of like a darker pad just to fill out the mids here. So that is using Logic's Alchemy as well called the Long Mel preset found under keys. And then that little sort of stop point right here in the melody uses this sound. That sound I'm using Logic's Alchemy called, the preset is called Synth Piano on the Warm Motion Performance. And that's layered with this sort of stringy synthy pad. And that is a preset from the Sounds of Metro Boom kit as well called Pad So 80s. So all together, once again, it sounds like this. Next up, layered with that, sort of in the background, Metro or one of the producers put in some of these effects. It's sort of like a rain and wind effect, and I put both of them in here. So you have rain, and you have this wind sound. And for those two samples, I just searched up rain and wind in Logic's loop browser and just picked one that I liked. And then I just sort of lowered it to be in the background so it's not too prevalent, but it just definitely adds texture to that piano sound and melody. See how it fills it out. And then from there we have the drums. So for one, we have that snare. We have the hi-hat pattern. A lot of rolls in here. Different set at different times. And then we have two open hats. We have this open hat here. And then it plays off this one here in the next pattern or next section. And then we have the kick. And then all together sounds like this. And then last but not least, we have to add in the deep bass and it sounds like this. Just a nice clean bass. For that sound, I'm using a bass that I really like to use if I'm looking for that clean type of bass. It's in Logic's ES1 synthesizer. The preset is called Deep Bass, found under Synth Bass. And I just pulled the cutoff all the way close just to give it a nice muffled, deep sound. <laughs> really fills out that lower end. All right, moving on into the next section, we have another piano pattern. So for that piano, I'm using the exact same keys, small piano here from the Metro Boomin preset kit. And that's pretty much it for like the main beat. Then we can go ahead and move on into the outro. So starting off with the keys section, it sounds like this.
So we have a Steinway Grand Piano here, Logic Steinway Grand Piano, playing this. Then we have this sound. Sort of like an electric keys pad sound. Then we have like a road sound. This is also from the sounds of Metro Boomin preset kit called Keys Roads. By the way, this Aurora over Iceland preset can be found in Alchemy. Moving on, we have this sound here. It's like a bassy electric piano sound. And then we have this. This Metro analog pad, also found from the Sounds of Metro Boomin preset kit, just layered in there just to give it some more texture. And of course, a low Metro Moog bass. And for that, I'm also using a preset from the Sounds of Metro Boomin preset uh, kit called BA or Bass Classic Metro Moog. And next up, we have this string section over here, just plays one chord. And for that sound, I am using Logic Studio String Section Instruments, the King's Cross Strings. And then right underneath that, we have this sort of plucky piano, we brought back that KY small piano just to have a pluckier piano type of sound. And then at the end, we have this tape stop effect just to sort of cut it out and let it slow down to go into the next track. So that's pretty much the beat right there. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. And let's take a listen to the entire beat from the top. Metro Boomin's Umbrella featuring 21 Savage and Young Nudie. Let's go. That right there is the remake to Metro Boomin's Umbrella featuring 21 Savage and Young Nudie. I'm gonna go ahead and save this entire session for you, place it as a downloadable link below this video. If you don't use Logic, I got your back as well. I'm gonna go export all the MIDI stems, audio stems, and of course include the drum kit that you heard in this remake. That playback can be found below the video as well. If you do have any questions on this or just wanna chat, let's go and talk in the comments section below. Happy holidays, I hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll catch you on the next one. Later. Peace.